Staples is proud to produce the Raising Cannabis Capital podcast. Today's episode will begin after this brief message from our sponsor. This ain't no desk job, but it's what you got to do to scale up to this in a single growing season. It's how in Oregon alone, we grew and harvested the single largest crop of CBG in the world. Grit, tenacity, hell, whatever you want to call it, the crew at Hampton USA has it by the bucket load. Just getting our seeds in the ground back in spring and growing them till fall was nothing short of heroic. Propagation, planting, maintaining what we have, and building what we need. Trust me, this shit ain't easy. But when it comes to harvest time, our team bumps the bar up to a whole new level. Next comes processing. Everything but the top flower goes off to get turned into crude, distillate, isolate, and water-soluble ready. Our product, like our team, is nothing less than best in class. This plant has always had the power to change the world, but it needs people to make it happen. We're lucky to have those people right here at Hamptown, USA. called boiling points, which is the temperature at which medicines would melt. People don't really understand again, what happens with a vaporizer, but the simple magic is look, it's a small little oven. Things get warm, and when things get warm enough, they, they melt into a vapor, and you can breathe off the vapor and extract the medicine without having to burn it to get there. So it's just a much cleaner way of digesting the medicine. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today in the Raising Cannabis Capital Series, we are joined by Court Smith, CEO of Da Vinci Vaporizers. Court, welcome to the MJ Bulls Podcast. Thank you, Dan. Having a good day? I'm having a great day. I'm having a great day. Thanks for asking. Skied a little bit this morning, and yeah, everything's good. Let's talk about you. So I, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on you, but in 2014, you were crowned tech's most interesting man in the world. Yeah, those are some big shoes. Those are, um, those are some really big shoes. And you know, and just reading through your bio, okay, for our listeners, here we go. You're fluent in Mandarin. You started Bungie International, which designs towers for bungee jumping. It's the largest bungee company in the world. Which, if that's not enough, then you start this <laughs> Asian Pro Sports, which exports what, like over 600 products all over the world. And now we're going to talk to you today about Da Vinci Vaporizers, which is one of the most advanced vaporizing companies in cannabis. First off, congratulations on your success, and congratulations on being the tech's most interesting man in the world. It does, it does all kind of link together. The best thing that's to say, I'm you know, a bit of a thrill seeker out of the gates. In my younger years, wanted to mix a business that was fun. So I got into the bungee jumping back in, uh, gosh, 91 over in Asia. It was, wasn't much to do over there besides gambling and drinking, and the outdoor sports market was was more my interest. As I was doing the bungee jumping, I got approached by a guy who says, hey, we're going to build the Disneyland in China, and we want to put one of these bungee jumping things in China. Can you do it? I'm like, well, sure. Raise my hand. Absolutely. You know, what are we going to do? In 95, I went <laughs> over there and designed and built China's first bungee tower. You know, to celebrate the, the opening day, and I think with 100 couples were to get married under the bungee tower. I China not seeing this jump down and a big countdown thing. And bungee landed in China, and I knew that China with its population and, and growth was going to be a huge market. But I think I was easily 10 years in front of myself. China wasn't ready for bungee jumping. It was far too scary. We were in momentum and, and it was happening. So it began kind of while introducing the bungee to China, we got involved with the whole X Games movement and produced China's first X Games and really brought the whole thrill sports mentality to the Chinese people. And I thought it was interesting because what, what I earned my, my sort of degree of manufacturing was building these bungee towers, which is you know, big stuff. This is the you know, size of the Golden Gate Bridge. Wow. Know, 300 feet tall, elevators up, up you know, the top, 
revolving restaurants, the whole, you know, entertain a whole Chinese crowd on a huge metal structure idea. But worked my way from bungee towers uh, into a, an assortment of other products. And I was learning different industries and different words in Chinese. Just took that, that degree in the learnings of how to build things, how to contract and negotiate the Chinese factories to be an artisan of my own ways to, to build things there. When Da Vinci kind of came up, I live in Vegas, right? So I went to a trade show and I said, wow, you know, I'm a cannabis user and I, I'd love to have a pocket-friendly vaporizer that, that would be good and, and not be so conspicuous. And on the market at the time, the best-selling thing was a, was a butane burning. It was the only thing pocket size that could be on the go, but it burned butane with an open flame. I thought, that's ridiculous. I'm a skier. I want to be up in the mountains. I want to be on the motorcycle, and I don't want a, a live butane, something going on. So I started scratching out something that would be small and battery-powered that could fit in your pocket and be rugged and really put my connoisseur's taste and my engineering skills into developing a very advanced smoking apparatus that, that became the Da Vinci. I mean, it's just crazy. It goes from bungee jumping to, to vaporizers, but I can see now how the dots are connected. Tell us what makes Da Vinci unique. You know, the, the, the unique part of Da Vinci is, is our flavor. I ended up have a good command of material science, looking at things that are going to get hot and make smoke. Well, there's, you know, there's good and bad ways to do that. Read on the forums and looked at all of what, you know, what the problems and existing issues were and bought a bunch of different vaporizers and tried stuff. And I want to go glass on glass. It's good as the basics of stonerology back, you know, people knew, hey, glass is the best way to experience cannabis and wanted to build a pocket-sized oven built with glass that would do the job really, really good. That was sort of the, the design command of saying we want to build this pocket vaporizer that would deliver with a glass-on-glass -glass taste. We started learning about terpenes and something called boiling points, which is the temperature at which medicines would melt. People don't really understand you know, what happens with a vaporizer, but the simple magic is look, it's a small little oven things get warm, and when things get warm enough, they, they melt into a vapor, and you can breathe off the vapor and extract the medicine without having to burn it to get there. Okay. So it's just a much cleaner way of digesting the medicine. Yeah, that's the first time anybody's explained it to me. Okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I yeah, like, no, 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 but I, it's funny, as many times as I've seen vaporizers, I've never had anybody explain it as concisely as that, but that makes a lot of sense. I want to take a minute to tell you about some really innovative things that our sponsor, Cream of the Crop, is doing in the cannabis space. Their brand is on fire. They have the fifth best-selling indoor flower brand in the state, and they're profitable, growing their business at 10% a month year-to-date. They're succeeding by helping cultivators turn profits through operation management and consulting in exchange for supply agreements. By bringing 30-plus years of cultivation experience, award-winning genetics, ultra-efficient SOPs, proprietary nutrient mixes, and their brand, they're able to help both operators who are new to the space and ones who want to just increase efficiency. In fact, they just increased profits for one of their clients by $700,000 per month. Just incredible. But what's really exciting is that they're expanding their highly scalable model beyond California. That's right, they're accepting applications across the country for 2021 and 2022 partnerships. Also, if you're planning to invest in cannabis, you should definitely look at Cream of the Crop because they're doing a capital round in early 2021 to help with their brand's national expansion. To learn more about partnering with Cream of the Crop or investing in their expansion, go to creamofthecropgardens.com. That's creamofthecropgardens.com. All right, so Da Vinci, what's the growth plan for the, for the next, say, say, two years? Well, you know, what we found was our competitive advantage is that it's our ability to navigate and get things built in China. In the electronics world, that's the hotbed. Shenzhen, China is where all of this technology is being developed. You know, the latest parts and molds and materials are available. It's all happening at that epicenter. And that's my backyard. You know, I've got offices there and people there and relations there. So... The growth plan is for us to build a connoisseur's product in every vertical. We want something for the wax, something for the oil, something for the herb, so that people who, let's say, they've been enjoying cannabis for you know, more than a couple of years, that they have a choice and a selection. That's something that's built the best, something that gives the best on all levels. It's the taste, it's the innovation, it's the control. You kind of going back to the vaporization story for a second, what, what starts to matter is the temperature at which you heat something up delivers a different experience. Burning a, a joint or lighting something with fire, you're burning all of it. You're taking all the elements down. But when you warm it up gradually, you can peel off what boils at a lower temperature. For example, you know, water boils at 212. 
well, THC begins to, to boil off at about 200 oh. up to about 350. But as you get above 350 degrees Fahrenheit, you start to step into your different cannabinoids. What's going to make you have the munchies or feel paranoid or feel sleepy or feel euphoric or analgesic? These are the cannabinoids talking. And as you raise the temperature, you can extract the different cannabinoids off. You know, oh. What you're trying to do is avoid carcinogen. And benzene is the first carcinogen that actually enters the system at about 385 degrees. So that the true connoisseur is aware of his boiling points and is extracting the cannabinoids on more of a dialed level. And they, all, they all seem to know what temperature they like. You know, I like to vape at 375. Well, I like to vape at 390. And you know, some of the younger guys, they, they just want to go all the way to the top of the scale. And at that point, it's so warm that the extraction is pretty much the same as combustion. Wow. That's a huge education that we have not had on this show before, so th- thanks for that. <laughs> okay, so funding this growth plan. I mean, Da Vinci's been in business for since 2010, so you're coming in on your 10 years in business, and you haven't raised any money. As far as I know, you don't have any partners. What are your plans for growth? Are Is there opportunities for investments? Are there opportunities for partnerships or collaboration? Yeah, right now, I'm like, the industry is on fire. Uh, a lot of really t- talented, bright people are entering the scene. We know our core competencies, design and manufacturing, and we, we build a really, really good vaporizer. But you know, we'd like to be looking for you know, for smart partnerships, people who also have large vision. You know, we want to latch into like-minded people that have passion for the for the industry. You know, see a bigger a bigger vision. There's there's an opportunity to build you know, more brand and more fun products, and really enrich the lifestyle of the fans of cannabis. Well, we'll have all of Court's information and Da Vinci's information on the MJ Bulls website. So if there's somebody out there that wants to circle back with you and maybe brainstorm a little bit, we'll have all that information. Court, you're welcoming any of those inquiries, I, I would assume. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, Court, thanks for being on the show today. This is, <laughs> again, it's great to have Tech's most interesting man in the in the world on my show. This is really cool. Thank, you, Thank you for the education on vaporizing. Like I said, we've never had anybody on our show that really explained it like that. So thank you. My pleasure. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to talk again. If not, we'll maybe, um, I don't know if you're going to get me on one of those bungee jumping things. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe, maybe, okay. maybe. Let's stay in touch. And good luck. Crappy's Feel Better Company is a cannabinoid CPG company with a line of easy-to-use CBG, CBD, and CBN products built for the weekend warriors, the weekday Zoomers, and anyone in between. Crappy's next-gen products incorporate pharmaceutical-derived chemistry to precisely blend minor cannabinoids and terpenes, creating a series of proprietary formulas for hyper-targeted use cases. Harnessing a team of experts with over 75 combined years of chemistry experience, the company relies on its novel solubility technology, state-of-the-art delivery, consistent results, and unique eye-catching branding to stand out from the crowd. Crappy's executive team and chemists have created a vast and diverse product pipeline to maintain relevance in a saturated market. To find out how you can participate in Crappy's Feel Better expansion, which includes major retail placements, university-executed clinical trials, IP and patent submissions, GMP and API scale-up, and international distribution? Go to crappiesfeelbetter.com or on Instagram at crappiesfeelbetter. Today's show was made possible by the generous support of our sponsors, like Alt36, the country's premier blockchain payment processing platform that's providing dispensaries and its customers with a safe and secure payment option other than cash. To learn more, go to alt36.com.